what is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Jonathan. Thank you for doing here. Welcome to you back to some solid vlog. And honestly, I'm hashtag nervous. When am I not, though? Let's be fair. If I'm not nervous, then it's a bad thing. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we talked about that before. But we got some awesome music. I didn't update the layout like a dummy, but it's fine. Because the only change is that we have a Venusaur now. And it doesn't have the sand ability, so it's not as good. I actually don't even know what ability it has. It has shell armor. Oh, it can't get crit. I don't know. That might be actually better than the, the sand ability, actually. Even though sand works for our team, not being able to get crit is l large. So, anyways, here is how the team is shaking up as today. As I'm sure you guys know is a kill episode so you guys get to decide what the heck is gonna be going on off the team um i have no idea what you guys are gonna kill but i'm nervous honestly i have an idea just based off of the last episode but um if you guys did not check out the last episode the last episode we took out kabu um and kabu did his thing and so yeah so here we go we got yay with the charcoal Heat Wave, Shell Sidearm, Sparkling Arya, Lance Wrath with the Oblivious Ability. We have Fruition, Dubunala, with the uh, Weak Armor Ability, Spectre Thief, Shadow Ball, Rising Voltage, and Waterfall. Tarant, the Trevenant, with the Oblivious Nature, or Oblivious as well, Shadow Claw, Drop Kick, Throat Chop, and Spore. Spoopy, the Venusaur, as you guys already know, that has the battle armor ability with Gunk Shot, Guava Apple, Energy Ball, and Poltergeist. Tawant, the Leafeon, holding the Fetch of Berry, with Spore, Strength Sap, Drum Beating, and Grassy Glide. And we have our lovely Dollar General with the Fetch of Berry. Uh, Sand Rush is an ability with Poison Sting, Hail, Fake Out, and Triple Axle. Weird moves that on that dude, but that is what it is. Um, so yeah, so today we can talk to Olenia, Bead, and everybody. Uh, I've been collecting everything that you've been wanting, sire. Good work. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that the chairman was the one who endorsed you or anything. I gather, I've, if I gather enough with these shards, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not just me. It's the future of Galar. Galar is important. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We'll need a powerful Pokemon trainer to go behind it as well. With all due respect, I was able to show Hop one of the champion endorsed trainers up. Ha! I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the real spirit. It takes healthy competition to go to the gym challenge energized. Challenger Bead, there is one thing I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? <sighs> I hope you were listening. As you know, Wishing Stars are those mysterious stones that are attached to your Dynamax bands. And they turn the Pokemon into giants. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head there right away. I'll even give you a lesson on how Galar region, the Galar region, and how its energy thing works. Fine. Uh, but I want to beat the crap out of Hop. I almost said how. How many times am I going to get flamed for those? Probably way too many to count. I think we should take on, we should take on Leon. Not Leon. Um, fuck. Ry Rihon. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. <laughs> now look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need. And the easy way to understand the energy player. He looked so happy. It was like a promotional photo. Like, it was just like, let me take a photo real quick. Yes. Energy sources as electricity, neutral gas, and water are so amazing. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's living by harnessing the power stored in the wishing stars. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Oh, time for me to get to work. 
I should get to move on before Lenny decides to give me another earful. John, I suggest you head to the vault next. Just head towards Route Six from head towards Route Six from the stadium, and you should be able to hit the vault without any issues. Elenia's like, Professor, don't give them all the information. You dumb mother frudger. Yeah, I know. Rose is a dumb mother frudger. But you know what? It's to be expected. It's it's Chairman Rose. Um, so, I decided that I was not going to um, get my encounters yet. I think our levels are a little scary considering that most of the encounters are between 26 and 36 like i was like no 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 we are not trying to fight level 36 pokemon in the wild area not trying to die so i'll probably do that after opal is my thought process so and i say that and that's really only a couple episodes away um so it's not like we're you're missing too much by doing that the vault over on route six so we can actually just do route six i believe but today's objective Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So today's real objective is to get through Route 6. And do Route... Like, hop and Route 6. That's really today's objective. And personally, I do think we can maximize that objective. As this bi we're building a whole crap ton of shaders. Hi. So yeah, honestly, I personally think we can maximize this, so... It seems like you're doing well collecting your gym badges. I wonder how Hop's doing. Did something happen with him? He's acting really odd since when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I've got no idea what for. Oh, you know, he just lost and thinks he's absolutely trashed. Oh, pfft. Okay. Um, how much information do I choose to give Leon here? Do I give him... You know what? He's hot, so we give him all the information. <laughs> That's how that works. That's just how it works, okay? Like, straight up. Um, yeah. Uh, everything just comes out of my mouth. Um, that's how that works. No, I'm joking. I actually... That is one thing I'm actually really good at doing, is being a good listener. And that's something that I've had to give myself a little bit of a thought bubble. Because... I've been in this weird mode where no matter what I do, nothing's good enough for what I'm doing. And then it's like, so I have to take a step back and be like, if nothing's good enough, what are you good at doing? And what has been things that you are good at that have positively impacted your scenario? So one of them is that being a good listener allows me to kind of know what's going on in my circles. So that way... I'm not randomly blindsided because I hate the feeling of being blindsided. It's why certain events have affected me a lot. Um, not recent events. I'm talking about past events um, that have affected me a lot more than you would assume that it would. And it's just because the act of being blindsided just makes me feel like, one, I didn't catch on to something. Um, oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see. What's your name again? Raihan doesn't care about me. So, yeah. So, because of that, uh, he had to look at his freaking phone to figure out what my name was. That's so... Well, he didn't just ask me. He looked at his gosh darn phone. Bruh. That actually triggers me. Imagine. Imagine. Going up to like your one of your best friends being like, I forgot your or not your best friend, but like an acquaintance, right? That you have in your phone, and it's like, I forgot your name. Let me look at your look at my phone and figure out your freaking name, dude. That would I'd just be like, No, don't even text me. Bye, <laughs> literally. Like, if you, how, unless you have like dementia or anything like that, there's an excuse there, um, but otherwise. If you don't remember my name, obviously I wasn't that important. So, um, yeah. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Being a good listener allows me not to be blindsided, which is so nice when it when it comes to anything. And so when I do get blindsided, it makes me feel like, what did I miss? Or did I do something wrong? And if I did do something wrong, then what possibly uh, can I do to fix it? And or if it wasn't something that I did wrong and it was the other person, then it's like, eh, okay. 
but it's still hard for me to accept it. Hi, Sonia. So, yeah. So, that's why I kind of have those, like, uh, are more reactive when it comes to that. And so, that's where... But, that's again, that's a byproduct of being a good listener and trying to not be blindsided uh, personally. And also being able to... And having the want to help others as well um, where I can is another thing that is the root cause of that. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just... It's interesting. So, like... I don't know. Do you guys ever have experiences with that? Because if you do, that'd be good to know. But I don't know. Like, also, yeah, sorry. Um, so I don't know. It's just like, it makes it interesting when you think about it. I'm trying to get ready for work, too, because I didn't do that. Thanks for pointless items. Do appreciate it. I figured. I didn't actually know that this part was here. Because I was talking to Charizard, and I was like, what the heck is here? I don't remember. And is it like... Also, another another off tangent thing. I had Brussels sprouts today. Oh my god, they were so good. Um, I actually really I don't know if that's one of the foods that I actually do like a lot, like asparagus, Brussels sprouts, stuff like that. Like, boom, like they're deadly. That that kind of stuff. It's like yes, please. Um, those are like some of my favorite vegetables. It's really. And a lot of people are like, what the heck? You like those vegetables? It's like, y yes. I actually am one of those weird people that like vegetables more than fruit. I don't like how sweet it is a lot of the time. Um, and really, the only fruits that I truly enjoy um, are like the citrusy ones. This, I like the citrus fruits. Those are nice. Like the um, oranges and the um, tangerines and that kind of stuff. That's fine. Watermelon. That's a good one, too. But if we're talking, like... and I, I mean, I like Granny Smith apples, too. Don't get me wrong. I haven't had those in a while. Hey, this is... See, this is... Okay, this is what I remembered. <laughs> Oddly enough, this is what I remember. And then Opal comes up and is like, Hey, sweetie. And it's like, Okay, Opal, bye. Dude, I stub my toe real hard. Today, I'm, like, literally... I'm off, I'm off tangents. I opened my toe real hard the other day and was like, ah, I, that got passed down. Love it. But, oh, hey, you're hitting the stone on the side. Oh, Team Yell, I don't suppose you'll let us through. I'm a pathetic Pokemon trainer now, so please help. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're particularly not fine of kids wag challenge bands. With all that stopping, gonna make Silk Cover so mad. Right. Dot, 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 dot. What do you say? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to get to the gym challenge. I'll battle them. You? Yeah, that's the spirit. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up the Silk Cobra now, don't you? I swear, these kids these days, we're all got no choice. We're gonna send you packing and all for the sake of the Silk Cobra. Is it a double battle with Hop? No, it's not. Hop's like, oh my god, I hate this. My life sucks. And I finally lost. I don't even know what level these are. Oh, great. The sun's up. Okay, see, now this is better. This is better. The levels are actually, yes. Oh my goodness, it took forever. But we're finally at the point where the levels are okay. Which is also scary, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well aware that that's actually nerve-wracking. Um, hmm. The Joy Draw is going to give us some problems because it's a Joy Draw. Why wouldn't it? I, I still remember Huge Power Joy Draw being a problem. It's just like, of course it's a Huge Power Joy Draw. Why would it not be if Joy Draw was a problem? Oh, boy. Your ability was suppressed. That doesn't matter. Uh, I think that was a special move. I want to say. We'll find out, um, right after these messages from our sponsor. No, I'm joking. Dude, one day, though. One day. That'll happen, and I'm... If that happens, that'd be amazing. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a special attack. Gonna fake out to get chip first. 
always a responsible play to just get your chip damage. Um, so you guys know, you guys didn't know already, it's always responsible to do that. Because we'll see if that actually mattered. Oh my gosh, it actually might have. Oh my gosh, it did. Yo! See, it's always responsible to get your chip damage. Your chip damage is important. See? Chip damage. For the one and only. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay. Karat wants to learn Lick. No. Dude, you wanted to learn this twice, my guy. Absolute stop. <laughs> Can we, can we not? <laughs> we can say we did, but can we not? Um, also, hi. That's a yay. That's a yay thing if I've ever seen one. Literally yay. <laughs> yay taking on the world right now. No, I'm just... I don't even know. Like, honestly, with this kill episode, it's going to be weird because it could be... there. There's, there's, like, a couple of logical thought processes. I think there's really three that I'm thinking of that are big kill mons that... That's literally what I've been thinking of. Like, who would you realistically kill? And honestly, my answer might be different from other people's answer because of, well, I'm playing the game. Uh, but I, I'm really curious on which one of it, because it's got, it's one of the three, right? I've pretty, pretty much excluded a couple of them off the kill list realistically because I'm like, who, who? Who really is gonna die? I think the three mons that I have picked out that I'm that are probably gonna die will surprise you guys because you're, you're like, whoa, why are you predict like your predictions are interesting? Um, and it's, and I'll be like, yeah, that's true. My predictions are very awkward. Hi, demonetization doggo. Love the fact that we're in the sun, so you can't hurt me that much. No, but honestly, this area being uh, covered in sun right now. Like, ugh, that is one thing I didn't know about this game, is that there's dynamic weather. <clears throat> and so with that being said, each route can be have a different weather attached to it. So, like, right now, the weather is sun. So it's sunny, It's and it's scary sunny, right? Because being that it's sunny, it means that, hey, if I get attacked with a fire tag, it's 50% more damaging with my four Pokemon that are weak to fire. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's the big thing. It's like, oh gosh, okay. Okay, what do I do here? I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to hit you with the Guav Apple. Mega Kick. Ooh, that's a normal type attack. Oh! Yikes! Um... Hmm. Well, if you're going to pull that... I'm going to go into Fruition and hope you uh, hit Mega Kick again. Yes. Okay. That Ghost switch in. Honestly, it would have been better to switch into Tarant, but it's fine. Um, go for a Withdrawal, please. Oh, I'm faster. It doesn't matter. Okay. It should be dead now, then. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. But you did go for Withdrawal. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I think... I think this is your only want mon, though. It is. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Yes, I'm gaining its stats, but... It doesn't affect the long run. See, Lunala's turnaround potential is cool. The only problem with Lunala's turnaround potential is that you can't really use it. Because it has its double quad weaknesses. Jeez, Dollar General has a hub. That, that two, that, that, the special defense stat is absolutely ridiculous. 135 is insane. Still cover might wake up after all that ruckus. There's no point in sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll be bothersome. The kids holler. We'll be let these. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know what that said. I wasn't paying attention. You and Nita Queen are brilliant together. Uh, sadly, B really wiped the floor with me last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you have got to lose sometimes. Well, I haven't lost a single mon, so you're just bad, bro. But he said I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. And I can't really get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then will people think Lee's weak too? I don't really want that. 
I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion after all. And I'm going to take some time figuring out. See you around. Can you heal me first? Bruh. Gar dude, please. I I've been doing that a lot. I've like, been like, girl, what are you doing? Like, a lot. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Hey, hey, my name's Opal. And if you want to get no more, have a look at my league card, why don't you? Hey, I'll keep my eyes on you. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Bye. You and your... Okay, no, but her black nails are actually pretty, though. The, those are pretty good. <laughs> Honestly, though, the nails. Looking good. Looking mighty fine. Okay, um, I don't know. Oh, pff, required trainer. Love it. Okay. We didn't get healed because Hop's a silly willy billy go and doesn't freaking heal you because, of course, he doesn't. Why would Hop heal you, honestly? Hop is just so sad that he doesn't care about anything in the world. <laughs> My brain had, I had a brain thought, I had a brain thought, and I, <laughs> I apologize for having that brain thought, Joy, but I had a brain thought, and you'll know exactly what my brain thought was, and you'll be like, gosh dang it, John, I'll be like, yep, understandable, honestly, understandable, I feel that. <laughs> uh, anyways, we gotta fight this chick, um, but we have around six encounters, so I'll be curious to see what we get. Oh, you have a yay. Yay on yay. Okay. Okay, me. Um, it's a yay on yay. Um, I'm going to land's wrath because it's stab, but I think it also can land's wrath. Also level 30, oh, 29. Oh, it's dead. It's No, it's not. Ooh. That's actually a good game to play if you're under level or you're lower leveled is the supersonic side or supersonic game. Because you might win that war. Yep, my confusion. Look, I I knew better. Oh god, I knew better to play games with confu or with uh confusion. My confusion look is absolutely terrible. <laughs> I know better. I just did. Um. Okay. Go back to our freaking grass types, because you know, yay, of course, has to be. Yay. And we might as well just attack it with drum beating because it's neutral and fine. Yeah, I knew better. I, I really did. I just wanted to be such like the cool kids and stay in and then it could have cost me. Hi, Nuzleaf. Um, I know exactly who to switch into on a Nuzleaf. Hi, Spoopy. You're going to get used a bunch now, buddy. Have fun getting used. You can't get crit, so you're less dangerous to send out. And it's a Nuzleaf. And so you can just insta one bop it if you hit. So. Bink. So, yeah. So, have fun seeing Spoopy a lot more. Spoopy! Honestly, I miss Spoopy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually lost. You're way too strong. I mean, it's okay. We have to get to level 37, so we really can't do too much in the way of, uh... Like... Leveling. Um, Tarant... You kind of fit the bill, both bills here. So I'm going to lead with you. You fit the catching and the defending bill. So if we get our encounter, then I can catch a Pokemon. If we don't get our encounter, we can continue going. Um, and you're pretty effective at murdering things. Oh, Axe you. Oh, that's a joy. Oh, well, we got our encounter. It's an Alolan Persian. Okay, okay. I'm okay with that, actually. Level 30? 29. Okay, see? This is what I was scared of. Everybody's, like, getting up to up there in levels. So, 
Honestly, though, I'll take an Alolan Persian, and we can make our way pretty easily up the steps if we can avoid the Joydra, or the, the real Joy. So we we saw Joydra and Gen 1 Joy in the same episode. I love it. That feels good, honestly. <laughs> it woke up turn one, which is frustrating, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If the attack is based off of my attack stat, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what an amazing last Pokemon. I might say Wishcash now. I was really going to try and use Wishcash, right? Because I was like, oh, it's Wishcash, and Wishcash is a good mon, and I like Wishcash a lot. But, I'm sorry, a Wonder Guard Alolan Persian? <laughs> <laughs> it's only weak to like two things, and fighting and bug. Well, oh my god, is it actually only weak to the two things? I think it actually is. No, fairy, 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 fairy. That's it. I was like, I'm like, is, there's no way it's only weak to two things. <laughs> That's actually like a really good too. <laughs> we can be weak to those. I'm like, bug's a common typing. Yes. And bug is a pain in the butt for us. Yes. But we have Spoopy. And Spoopy is neutral to bug and murders them. I'm going to name you Nolan. Nolan. Wow, we really got a Wonder Guard mod again. Um, dude, I so want to use it. Um, what is Nolan's summary? What do we got, Nolan? We have a utility umbrella. Wow, you actually are prepared. This Pokemon, this sturdy umbrella protects the holder from the effects of rain and sun. <laughs> it's came prepared. What the heck? Um, plus attack minus speed. That's okay. Um, with oh my gosh, isn't that the thing that like. I mean, it's not going to matter because you're not a physical attacker, but still. Or you are a physical attacker, but still, that's funny. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know what? We can... Oh, no, 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 no. I can't add it to the party. But we can have the utility umbrella. And honestly, that's kind of a perfect item for our situation. Hey, Tarot, you want to hold a utility umbrella since I'm using you to actually, like, do stuff? No, no, ax you. I love the fact that you're here because you're one of the rare encounters here. But no. Um... Yeah, hey, Tarot, I'm giving you a utility umbrella. No, I want to give. Held item. Give an item. Where do you, I want to... Okay, fine. Held item, put back in your bag. Held item, open your bag. Let me give you the utility umbrella. Where even is the utility umbrella? Why is it in my other items category? Okay. That's a weird category. But yeah, the utility umbrella actually is extremely, extremely helpful for me right now. Obviously, by the time I go to work, it's not going to matter, but it's okay. <laughs> but for a, a, like a really good grass type team, or for a primarily grass type team, that is actually such a big development for me. Um... So I really do approve of that. Um, oh, this is a maze type thing. Okay. Well, I unfortunately got to go. Oh, hi, gosh, dang. There's so much things. Okay. Anyways, have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, next time we meet you, we'll be at Stow on the side because this is just getting up to Stow on the side. And we'll take care of B. So we have a B battle next episode. Um, that's freaking funny, though. I gotta tell Charizard. I'm, he's gonna be so, like, happy, but also, like, bruh. And it's gonna be funny, so I have to do it. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode when we go ahead and do that. So, I love you all again so very much. Thank you for being here and watching and supporting this content. And we'll see you guys 
1, 2, 71, after you guys make your guys kill. Mm -hmm.